Mercedes. 40 cars plus for the first time this afternoon as we get underway with heat number eight. Green flag will fly, we are off, we're running. One, two, three, John Clemens makes a beeline for three, one, three, Scotty Dog. As we get underway in racing, we lost Emma at the far end of the race, oh, it's huge, huge hit from Sparrow Boy, who is then blown up by one of the Mad Hatters, that was amazing, up on that road turn. Keep your eyes on three, other late Emma up on the road turn. A sweet 70 for Mole goes way in on that. So 393, Pervy Pete. On the back straight, Ricky Beasley blows up 399. 700 goes in on 802. So some huge action up on the road turn. And already there's action in carnage everywhere you look. Try and get you a leader in a moment, Thomas. But it was 807, Chris Murphy for team. We've got a red flag situation. We've got a red flag situation. I'm not too sure what the issue is, but the reds are out. So we've got, a, and I believe it's 802. Damien Matthews, a driver in distress. So the red flags are out and showing it will be a complete restart to heat number eight this afternoon. So we'll try it again, and we are off and running, and Team Graham Black could be in a very strong position here for their cars, pretty much close to the front as we get underway. 385 winds out, 170. He gets whacked in the rear wheel by 15, the mole. And uh, 562 gets buried by the traffic up on the road turn. 122 and 807 racing for the lead as Gibbo. 390 thunders in 802, Harry Bird with a crack in it on the pit bend. 15, the mole butts heads with 385, Thurlow. And here are your leaders. 122, Pikey with a swarm of uh, Team Graham Black cars in his rear view mirror. 143, 204, also moving up the order well. Team United, early front runners as well. So we race on in this afternoon. Eight feet for the bangers. Pikey under attack from 807, and he has nailed it. So 807 turns the leader out. Team Graham Black now fill the top spot as Gibbo continues thundering in United Junior 136. Woody goes crashing into the heat down here by the pit gate. 563 Rob Youngham goes in hard on 313 Scotty Dog. As we race on in this afternoon's 8th heat for the Bangers. 382 Chubby leads. 182nd, 143, Dan Rose in third, Mushy moving up nicely as well. As they come racing through Team Graham Black, not having quite the dominance they had a moment ago, but still very strong. But Johnny Atkin has been turned inside out of the back straight, missed that one. But we race on in today's eighth heat for the Bangers. So we continue in this afternoon's Heat number eight, and uh, it looks like Gibbo isn't done yet. 390 turning it around. Oh, and a huge hit there, and he goes back into his wheels. We keep it on that wheel, Thomas. 67 spots 390. Dan Phillips slow as Charlie Boy. Johnny come on here. We've got a red flag situation. Massive action down here on the home straight, and the Reds are out. And it will be a restart, we're not quite there. And it was for the wheel. The wheel came off, I think, of 67 Ricky Beasley. Originally, we were hoping it might not become an issue, but then it did. So, red flags out. Give out the car and Cabold the first to shake his hand after a huge crash here in front of us. We're back underway in racing with the resumption of today's heat, uh, heat number eight. And uh, still got a few laps to go. And 392, Baino flicking it around on the pitch turn. Looking to perhaps throw a spanner in the works here. 382, Shabby is the race leader. And here comes Baino with, I'm sure, one thing on his mind. And Shabby knows it's coming as Baino stops him with an almighty head on. Chris Murphy finds Baino for the rear wheel. And Smurf might be turning it around now. 
for the big finish. Here we go on the pitch turn. Massive head on with Smurf and Vano. Be a black flag for 525 if you can, Thomas. As a 180 spark, he goes on forward. And another roll over. And this time it's red and checkered, Thomas. Red and checkered. So the red and checkered flags out of the race. So 122 going over. And it is a red and checkered flag situation on the start line. Wesley Starman with some fire as well. So um, I'm sure it was worth restarting it because uh, we had...